Welcome back to my channel. We got a project today. Um, we bought some 150 gallon water troughs that we're going to be burying for watering holes for our deer in specific locations where we like to hunt. And uh, if you look behind me right there, got us a 275 gallon water tote that we'll be filling these watering holes up with. So we're going to get to work and you're going to see how it's done. to the spot I'm gonna uh, look around for a little bit and find exactly where I'm gonna want to put this I may have to push some brush over right there I've been thinking about maybe right there but we'll see I'm just gonna look for the, the best spot and then I'm gonna get started
All right, well, we got the hole dug and the trough fits in perfectly. I'm gonna take some of this dirt and start filling in around it and uh, start building up a little bit over here. Just getting this all nice and contoured around here. So we're getting her done and uh, she's gonna look good when we're done with it. I can't wait. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. All right, well, I made it up here with some water. Brought about 80 gallons with me. I didn't want to make it too heavy on the side-by-side, -side, so I just put 80 in the tank. So I'm gonna have to make two trips, but uh, we're gonna fill this up right here. You put a bit of a log right in here, and that way critters that fall in are able to get out, like a squirrel or a raccoon. Um, it would be pretty awful if a squirrel or a raccoon got in here and couldn't get out and died and then all oh, your water's ruined. So anyway, you want to anchor it down right there. I put a brick, a cinder block in there, or half of a cinder block. And it's going to weigh it down a little bit because I guess uh, raccoons, they like to uh, pull that log out. Well, if the log's out, then it ain't doing us no good. So anyway. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get this water going. Oh, I also, I've got some dirt and debris and some leaves and stuff at the bottom. Not very much, but just enough to, you know, mucky up the water a little bit. Cause deer, they're, they're not gonna want, you know, crystal clear chlorine flavored water. You know, that's not natural. That's not what they're used to drinking. They want something that's gonna have that earthly flavor to it. So anyway, I'm gonna get this water started. We're going to fill this bad boy up. So I'm going to let this do its thing. And then I'm going to go get another load and bring it out here. And I'll be with you in a minute. She's done. Got her filled up. 
ready to go. Now all I gotta do is get out of here, leave this alone, and the deer should do the rest. I think uh, it turned out pretty good. Now this is a 150 gallon tank, or trough. Um, you can get smaller, I don't recommend that. It just means you're gonna have to fill it up more often. Uh, unless you've got it in an area that will funnel rainwater right to it and kind of help fill it up. But for the most part, you'll probably have to fill it up like I did. Um, they make also bigger, you can get a 300 gallon tank. So, uh, you know, you just fill it up probably once, maybe twice a year and you're done. Deer will use this. This is 24 inches deep and they will get on their knees or they'll even get into the trough to get to the water. So just because it's deep doesn't mean that they won't use it. They absolutely will. So if you've got a shovel or a backhoe, you can do this yourself or you can hire Antler Shed Land Management and we can come out and do this for you. I charge $600 for this. For the 300 gallon, I charge 1000 So if you're interested, just contact me and my number will be at the end of the video. And uh, like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you on the next video.